The state government has revealed the controversial stadium bridge will be open to thrill seekers for a bridge climb experience. Today, the first massive part of the pedestrian link was moved into place. It's the missing piece in the stadium jigsaw as construction of the $83 million bridge reaches the next stage. There's no room for error here. It has to, everything, every piece has to fit perfectly well. 30 tonnes, 19 metres long, from Henderson to the Burswood Peninsula. Over the next six weeks, 50 of these steel structures will be transported on our roads. And the amount of effort and precision needed is second to none and what we're seeing is world-class fabrication here in WA. Each piece will be assembled into three arches on site, then floated into place and raised up. The bridge is also set to be a major tourism drawcard. Tourists will be able to climb up the 65-metre structure. Stairs will be built in with a viewing platform on top, the project set to go to tender soon. <laughs> but its main use, a crucial transport link for fans to ease congestion. It's expected to carry one in every four fans to the stadium on event days. The bridge is expected to be finished by May. What that means is that there will be further pressure placed on people getting to and from Optus Stadium, like on Sunday for the One Day International. Transperth is warning it could take up to an hour and a half to get home from the game. The first ball will be bowled at 11.20, but gates will be open at 9.30 to avoid the commuter crush. It will be the biggest sporting event in WA's history. We sure are prepared for everything. Um, we've been spending a year working on this uh, plan for this very first event. 35,500 people will use trains, while 14,000 are expected to use bus services. There will be eight direct options. Karanup, Mirabuka, Morley, Ellenbrook... Canningvale, Curtin University, Hamilton Hill and Fremantle. For those that want to drive, a parking bay at Belmont Racetrack will set you back $20. They must be reserved online at bookabay.com.au. Scott Cunningham, Nine News.